Hey, what's happening, guys? Yeah, we're playing with the oscilloscope again today. But not just the oscilloscope. we got a new little function generator for us to play with. And it's sitting right over here. That is the Ajuntech JDS 2800-60. It is a 60 megahertz full function arbitrary waveform generator. And it's tiny. I mean, look, there's my hand. It is uh, 147 millimeters by 107 millimeters, and it's only about 35 millimeters deep. Yep, it's panel mount. Why? Because I'm a child of the 70s, where we had, you know, the gigantic television slash stereo cabinet, and everything is in one piece. So my goal is to one day panel mount my entire electronics laboratory in a giant walnut case that weighs about 700 pounds and you know different doors open up here and there yeah I miss the 70s <laughs> anyway let's talk about this guy a little bit here like I said it is uh, 0 to 60 megahertz uh, with a rise time about 25 nanoseconds minimum frequency resolution is 0 0.01 microhertz so that's 0 0.1234567800 zeros 1 hertz <laughs> frequency accuracy is plus or minus 20 parts per million and the stability is plus or minus 1 part per million over 3 hours so far so good it does sign square pulse uh, triangle parts. Well, why don't I just show you what waveforms it does? All right, so we are on sine wave. Then we have square wave. If you notice there, it looks like there's a little bit of overshoot. We're at what here? 500 millivolts peak to peak. This one's 500 millivolt overshoot. Let's uh. Let's put on the bandwidth limiting. Yeah, that's just some noise. Okay. So there's our square wave. Oops. There's our pulse wave, which is basically a adjustable duty cycle. Square wave. Triangle. Partial sine wave. I'm not sure why that's only a partial sine wave, but okay. CMOS. Straight DC. We have half wave rectification, full wave rectification, like you'd get from a full bridge rectifier. Uh, positive it says ladder, I call that a stair step. Negative stair step. Noise, which that's what a lot of my circuits look like noise. Exponential rise, exponential decay, multitone, sync pulse, Lorenz, and then we have how many arbitraries? 15 different arbitrary waveforms. So that is very nice right there. It's got a nice 2.4 inch uh, LCD screen. And then, like you see here, we can adjust our frequency. Let me, uh, wish it had a keypad so you could just type in the frequency you want to be. You know the old saying, want in one hand, crap in the other. See which one fills up first. So the frequency, there's our amplitude. We're on two volts now, peak to peak. I can crank that up to 20 volts peak to peak. Yeah, there we go. You can see right down there, 20 volts. That's actually giving us 19.8 volts peak to peak. We'll put it back to something reasonable like 2 volts peak to peak. Very nice. We can do a DC offset, so you see right now we are centered about the zero line. 
there's one volt positive, one volt negative. Duty cycle, that works not for this. And then if we have two of them, we can adjust the phasing. Now, it, we also have here some modulation. Right now we have Here's a pulse generator. Let me turn that on. Bup, 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 bup. Adjust that so you can get a look at it. There's our pulse generation. We can also do. Another form of pulse generation. This is the burst mode. Then we have a frequency sweep, which we have set here for a uh, one second sweep from one kilohertz to 10 kilohertz with a rise in a logarithmic sweep. And there you can see that with the square wave. Let's go back here, change it to the sine wave, and turn that on. And there you can see our frequency down there. By the way, this uh, nice little function generator was sent out to us free of charge by our friends at Banggood. So I'd like to thank our friends at Banggood for sending this out. For our consideration, they do have some nice, low-cost electronic doodads. Put a link to the page from Banggood down below. But this lists for $75.25 American bucks. Let's see. Let me pick. Hmm, one moment, please. Don't let me change currencies. It used to let me do that. I don't know why it won't now. Anyway, it is on sale for 6% uh, off. So that's not too bad at all. Let's uh, take a look at the dual waveform function here. It comes with a uh, BNC to uh, alligator clip lead, and it also comes with the world's shortest BNC cable. It's like a foot long. Come on, who has need for a foot long BNC cable? Okay, I hear all you Greybeards RF guys saying, well, you want them to be as short as possible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but see what happens when you have a one foot long BNC cable? It just wants to argue with you. So, let me set this up. There we've got it set up real nice with one megahertz sine waves at two volts peak to peak. And they are 90 degrees out of phase. So if I can get everything to sit here and be nice. I bring up this one. Hello. And I bring down this one. See how the waves are stacking? That is 90 degrees out of phase. Now, if I change the phasing, let's go 180 degrees. Now you see they are exactly opposite. And if I go to 270 degrees, you can see how it shifts. See, 270 is the opposite of 90. Very nice. And now they are perfectly, should be perfectly in phase, but they're not. Why are they not? Interesting. Let's 
let's see, let's bring these together. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Just wasn't looking right to me. But now we have that and all is well. So this is a nice little portable function generator. Comes with a uh, 5 volt wall wart power supply. And it also functions as a frequency counter. So let's take a look at that function too. So here's another little function generator. And let's uh, What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. We'll go with the square wave. We'll start out at 15 kilohertz. And we'll hook up this tiny little short cable to the external end. Then we can say measure. Function measure counter. Okay. Triangle. I don't want triangle. Oh, it's going to be like that. I can see it. This thing can be a bit of a pain in the tuchus to operate. Hold on. Well, after many, many, many minutes of playing around with it, I couldn't get it to count. And I think it was just this crappy old function generator. So what I did is I just hooked it up to that little square wave generator there. And bada boom, bada bing. She's counting now, ain't she? There we go. So if we change the frequency here, hundred and fifty kilohertz. That's the max. Let's take her down. There we go down to sixty. That's sixty one, Paul. There we go. There's 60 hertz. So yeah, that's working out pretty well. Nice little function. And you're going to find that on just about any uh, function generator, arbitrary waveform generator of the day. Very nice. So I'd like to thank Banggood for sending this out to us. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.